having done some preliminary work and the sisters we now enter into a serious study on resistance network this program includes the study on three important network applications one maximum power transfer theorem two kevinans theorem and three martens work all these network applications would help to form a strong solid foundation on electronic engineer who are set to attack many complex circuit design on solid state digital clear ic systems in later part of study as far as possible simplification of presentation avoiding tedious mathematical analysis adding as much practical details as possible including laboratory experiments strengthening by theoretical exercises and creating a strong foundation has been our aim in all these presentations to be more specific we don't advise current measurements in circuits rather then just to strain the viewers to obtain the current through voltage measurement technique there may be numerous such occasions we would drill the electrode with exercises to lay strong foundation in circuit analysis sadi design ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് <laughs> Now, include a T-network comprised of R1, R2 and R3 at the output terminals of the supply, thus converting it as a non-ideal source with the T-network in its output terminals. Connect the multimeter is now connected at the output terminal of the T-network to permanently record its value to be around 2.5 volts the meter gives you an indication of 2.5 volts recognize this measurement shows the value of v tevinen to be at 2.5 volts now what i do is i load the output by 1k resistor when i load the output with my 1k resistor the output voltage drops down to about 1.6 volt 
output voltage drops down to about 1.6 volt. I mean, it will be more than 1.6 volt. Near about 1.7 volt, I would say. Output voltage drops down to 1.7 volt. So this thus the output voltage drops down by half. And it is being bothered by one kind of sister. This confirms half deflection method of the internal resistance or segment of the non-ideal source to be at 1 kilo ohm. Thus, this experiment proves the equivalent of V3 V segment to be at 2.5 volts and R segment at 1 kilo ohm. Markson's work is verified by this experiment. Switch on the power supply. Measure and confirm the output voltage to be at 5 volts. The meter has been connected across the series resistor R2 to give an indication about the output current. So practically, no indications of blood in the meter. Now include a T network comprised of R1, R2 and R3 at the output terminals of the supply, thus converting it as a constant current source. Permanently connect the multimeter set at 5 volt in DC range across 1K R resistor of T network to give the current value. An electronic engineer would not venture to measure the circuit current using the multimeter in its current range as a precautionary method. Instead, he would measure the voltage across the known resistance value and calculate the current instantly. Thus, the voltage meter set at 5 volt range, multimeter set at 5 volt range is connected across the 1K resistor to give us an indication about the current. Now it is advised to measure the voltage across 1K resistor that instantly the current is minimum value. So practically no reading in the meter. Now we are inserting a short circuit across the output terminal and the count the current value. The current value is recorded to 1.66 milliampere, 1.6 volt, 1.6, little more than 1.66 volt. That means current is about 1.66 milliampere. Now load the output terminal by different values of resistor. Now I am loading the output terminal with 10 ohm resistor. Again the same reading is of time. I am loading the output terminal with 10 ohm resistor. Same reading is of time. Now I am loading the output terminal with 22 ohm resistor. Loading the output terminal with 22 ohm resistor. Then the same reading. Now I am loading the output terminal with 47 ohm resistor. More or less the same reading, but probably a little low. So output terminal is not loaded, that means it gives zero value. So thus, the system now acts as a constant current source of 1.6 milliampere with a short with a shunt resistance of 1.5K, up to 15 ohm, even 47 ohm loading, the ratio is about, ratio by RS by RL is 100. Condition is met with. Thus, the output current 
seems to be 1.66 milliampere staying constant at its value.